Hello and welcome. This is Glennis Patterson, Director of ID8 Software. This ID8 Style Manager technical overview video is for anyone who uses Revit and is responsible for documentation and content management quality control. To reduce errors and their associated costs, we all work hard to manage the myriad of Revit functions that control graphic output and visibility, such as object styles, line styles, line patterns, and fill patterns, materials, material appearance assets, filters, view templates, and even scope boxes. They are all involved in the different aspects of graphic and visibility controls. ID8 Style Manager is a tool that addresses these challenges head-on and delivers on the seemingly impossible and very time-consuming task of identifying the source of each non-standard style. Without ID8 Style Manager, your team is deleting without understanding the consequences. In this video, we'll showcase just a few of the ways that ID8 Style Manager can save you time and reduce liability. First, we will demonstrate how Style Manager provides a critical risk assessment function by answering the question, what will change if I remove this line style? Let's take a look. Style Manager shows you all the available line styles in your open file. You can double click on any one of them on the left hand side to see the usage on the right hand side. In many cases, the line styles are used by lines, but as we're seeing here, they can also be used in, in things such as detailed fill regions, views, or even view templates. On the right-hand side, when you select an individual usage, you can typically use the Show button to zoom to a view where you can investigate further the use of that particular line style. You can choose to work in Revit with Style Manager open and address the individual condition as we're showing here with the boundary line, or you can use the merge function, which we will see highlighted in our next example. In the next example, we will review how Style Manager can help you fix and standardize your materials by allowing you to batch merge two or more similar materials into approved standards. Inside of Revit's material browser, we can search for all the concrete materials and we can select any one of them and choose to delete. But when we delete, uh, we could easily be impacting lots of different references to that material within the project. In Style Manager, we can also bring up a list of materials in the project and filter on the ones with concrete in the name. But additionally, what we can do is analyze and understand how each one of those materials is being used. In this case, all of these are in use and we can easily sort them by usage here. And as we pick each one, the usage panel at right tells us how they're being used. So if we take a look at the one that we previously deleted as an example, we can see that it's currently in use within all of these element types. If we select the concrete domestic floor type, for example, we can use the edit type button to manually make the material change to layer two. I know to look for layer two because style manager tells me in the information area. But who wants to manually change something when you can automate? With the merge function, all of these element types that use that material can be simultaneously changed in a batch process. First, select one or more materials that you'd like to merge. Then use the Merge button to review and select the one you want to merge into. In the background, Style Manager is making all of those material exchanges with any materials, families, element types that are listed, parameter values, etc. You'll get this result list showing the scope of the change. This is a feature that is sure to save you a lot of time. And lastly, let's look at how Style Manager can help you delete those imported category styles to ensure your projects, templates, and families stay clean and healthy. When people talk about CAD imports, what they typically are really mean is the information that's found within the object styles dialog on this imported objects tab. So how can Style Manager help with the imports? What Style Manager is doing on the, here on the Object Style tab is first and foremost letting you isolate so that you can look only at the imports if so desired. Uh, here you'll see we've got uh, a top level one which is bolded. That's an indication that it's the parent and then you can see the children uh, styles underneath it. We also have the imports and families and then any other uh, links or imports are listed. Uh, what I like to do is focus first on just the top level, the parent, um, and I've double clicked here to analyze that parent because if the parent is not in use then 
all the children's styles. Um, we don't need to, they're also not going to be in use. And by deleting the one, we would automatically be deleting all the other ones. In this case, uh, we can't do that. We don't probably want to. We want to analyze and, and look further uh, at that. So here, we're going to use the show function, and it's going to find a view where we can take a look at that style. And so we can assess what the action item is, is here. Uh, it's important to remember that with Style Manager, you can interoperate. So I can go ahead and I could delete this, or maybe I want to put in another family that represents that better um, and still keep Style Manager open. So it's great for identifying uh, imports and links um, and whether they're in use or not, or whether they can be deleted. Uh, and then additionally, you want to take a close look at the import and family content. And you can, if you'd like, you can actually highlight that here by just filtering. And I'm just going to grab a couple of these and analyze them. These are the styles that are the result of uh, either an exploded import within the project or an import that is exploded or not exploded, but exists within a family. So there's a lot of different ways this kind of stuff can junk up your project and you do want to look carefully before you delete them. So in this case, this particular object style does in fact come from this family. So if we want to understand that, we can use the edit button and then you know continue to kind of research this. We can see here in turn that's coming from this family. So we're going kind of deep into the family environment uh, and we can see that this content is actually uh, only in use here through the subcategory uh, assignment. So what that means, if I use the show function, we can see it's listed over here. So I can I can sort of manually fix this this very nested family, or uh, I can I can do that from the project itself. So all the way back here, uh, where we had this, if I um, if I pick this one or this one, let's let's do them both. Both of these are in use. I'm using Control Select, and I'm going to merge. Um, so there's a total of let's see, this family, this family, and that's the same. Family. There's actually only two families. So I'm going to take both of these and do a merge, and I can merge them into each other, or I can here uh, merge them to the any any other um, subcategory within Imports and Families, or set it to the parent. Maybe that's appropriate. You need to make some decisions about how you want to manage that content. So in this case, I'm going to move them uh, to the parent level. And what that's doing in the background is that level of nesting is being handled for me. So it's gone through and it's opened and modified those families. And now when I come back here, you'll see that import family is already, is already gone. And in fact, these remaining ones here that have been analyzed can easily be safely deleted without impacting the project. In this video, we've just touched on three common usages of ID8 Style Manager, but there are many other aspects of the solution, including filter analysis to help you spot unused or duplicate filter values, view template analysis, and lastly, scope box analysis. All these styles support the analyze, rename, merge, and delete functions. Without Style Manager, this soffit could easily be deleted and become a control joint. Don't put your work at risk. Your projects, templates, and family content will all benefit from the deep forensic analysis and batch process cleaning delivered by ID8 Style Manager. To learn more, download the trial version to test drive ID8 Style Manager. Check out our in-product getting started guide and be sure to send us your great questions. Learn more at ID8Software.com. Thanks for watching.